Hello everyone, welcome back. We're back with week four of our power rankings. We have a little bit of shift in the top 10 with all that and where everyone sits as we finish week four coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Internet Hockey Channel. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe below. Thank you all your support right now to without you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. Don't forget to comment down in the comment section below. So discussing all this discussing today's video. So just to recap, we had a lot of intriguing games last week. Uh, some interesting teams. Now there wasn't too much change. Most of the top 10 from last week is staying in the top 10 this week. There was, I think, one or two small moves in my top 10 from last week to this week. So we'll get to all those here. We're going to start here with some honorable mentions as we usually do not too many different names on the honorable mentions list either some of these guys have been to my power rings before some of these guys are new so honorable mention number one is Ottawa had a pretty good week last week going 2-1-0 they absolutely destroyed the St. Louis Blues they shut out the Seattle Kraken both those teams were struggling at the time though and then they also narrowly lost to the Rangers 2-1 which is certainly a phenomenal game so I'm not ready at this point in time to put Ottawa in my power rankings even though they are my second favorite team they just they haven't shown me enough to get into the top 10, but they had a pretty good week last week, narrowly losing to the Rangers and then dominating against St. Louis and Seattle. So if they can put together a couple more weeks like last week, they'll find themselves in the top 10 power rankings in no time. But for now, they're an honorable mention. For the second honorable mention is the Edmonton Oilers last week. Pretty good week, even though they lost Connor McDavid early in the week last week. After that, they had a couple of wins. Destroyed Nashville as they usually do. Drassel seems to have field days whenever he plays Nashville. And they also beat the Calgary Flames back on Sunday before getting show by Jersey yesterday so it was a bad game there against Jersey for sure but still they beat their Alberta rivals who are slipping right now they absolutely destroy the National Predators which is starting to become a thing now so Drassel is looking good Hyman's finally on the board for a couple of games now offense is starting to click a little bit goaltending wise they're starting to be a little bit better with Pickard and Skinner and that defense of theirs so even without McDavid they go 2-1-0 this week and they are at 500 now so I'm going to put them in my honorable mentions here the third honorable mention is Utah I have them back up here with the honorable mention fell out I think last week or the week before after having a really sour stretch but they went 101 last week they wound up being the Calgary Flames in dominant performance there and then they lost in overtime to the goal night so it wasn't a fantastic week so you have a possible four points is pretty good though and it was a win against the low-end Calgary team plus a OT loss against a really good goal Knights team who's fantastic at home so it was a pretty good week there for Utah I'm not at this point in time ready to put them back into my top 10 but they do get an honorable mention here and the last honorable mention is Vancouver they're the one team that falls out of my top 10. Nothing bad for the Canucks. They won 1-0 last week. They had a narrow victory against the low-end Sharks team. And then they got absolutely destroyed by the Hughes brothers in New Jersey. So it was a bad game there from the Canucks against New Jersey, losing 6-0. Nothing against them, but I just think that there were a couple other teams who were better. So I'm going to take them out of my top 10 and put them in my honorable mentions. But still, it was a pretty decent week from the Canucks getting two of a possible four points. So those are four honorable mentions for this week. Now going over to my top 10 power rankings. We'll start with the team who's making their debut in our power rankings this week, and that is at number 10, I have the LA Kings. This past week was not a bad week there from the LA Kings. They went 2 on 1. They had a bad shoot loss against the Blackhawks. They also had a regulation loss against the Sharks. They lost a couple of really easy wins. But then they also wound up destroying the Golden Knights at home. And then yesterday they wound up being the National Predators. So they had a five of a possible eight points. They looked really good. There's up to seven, three, and three on the year now. They're looking fantastic. I think they are going to be a lethal team this year. Kemper's starting to look really good. Even without Doughty, that defense is holding up pretty well. And then you got the offense with guys like Fiala, Kopitar, uh, Laferriere is looking really good. So the Kings are looking pretty good right now. And I think that they deserve to be in my top 10 ranking. So I have them at number 10. At number 9, I have the New Jersey Devils slipping a little bit from last week. I think we're dropping one or two spots. It wasn't a bad week there from the Devils this week. As they went 2-1-0, they wound up being, the like we said, the Vancouver Canucks 6-0. They also beat the Edmonton Oilers 3-0. And then they got shut out by the Calgary Flames. So the Flames had a bad week last week. That one win was against New Jersey. And that was a scoreless game for most of that game. So can't really say the Devils did bad in that one either. So Devils look pretty good so far. Going through West Canada, wind up being Vancouver and Edmonton and narrowly losing to Calgary. So... 
They had a pretty good week. He's just still looking really good. The Hughes brothers look good. Defensively looking good. Allen Markstrom starting to have some really good performances there. I think Allen showed Edmonton. Uh, I'm not sure if it was Allen or Markstrom show Vancouver, but still. Goal setting wise, they're looking a lot better. Defensive wise, they're looking a lot better. And the offense is still clicking on all cylinders. So Jersey is going to fall to nine here. At number eight in my power rankings, I have the Dallas Stars. They do fall quite a bit. I think I had them third last week. Uh, so they do fall quite a bit. They had two games last week. It was the Global Series games, and they lost both of them. A 6-4 loss to Florida, and then a 4-2 loss to Florida. So Florida's a really good team. Nothing against them, but I do think with the two losses, Dallas does fall a little bit here. So I have them drop into number eight on my power rankings, but still, their offense looks good. Duchesne's looking really good. Johnston, Stankoven, Robertson, like the offense is clicking defensively. Goldstein wise didn't have an overly great week, but still, Andre and the Smiths are looking pretty good. So intriguing game there, but the stars do falter. And then number seven on my power rankings, I have the Golden Knights. They also dropped from last week. Uh, they didn't have a bad week either, just that the Canucks 1-1-0. They wound up getting destroyed by the LA Kings 6-3, and then they had the OT win over Utah. So it wasn't a bad week there from the Knights, but we want to see them beat the Kings, especially given the fact they haven't won a road game so far this year. So I am dropping them one spot. Not too much. They're still a decent week. Their depth scoring is starting to do a lot better. Kolasar, Schwind, Carlson's now back. He's looking really good. So they're starting to get some good depth scoring, which is starting to take a little bit of the load off the top guys. They also have some really good defensive plays still. And gold saying wise, Hell's actually looked pretty good over the past couple games. And Sam Snuff, even though he had a bad game against LA, still looked pretty good this year. So intriguing game there, but the goal of Knights, I do drop to number seven. And number six, we have the New York Rangers. They also dropped one spot from last week. Not a horrible week there from the Rangers either last week. They went 2-1-0. They beat the New York Islanders, beat the Ottawa Senators, and lost to the Washington Capitals. So it was an intriguing week there for the Rangers. They're still one of the top teams in the Metro and the league, so nothing against them, but Zabanja is looking pretty good. Panarin, Lafreniere, like the top six is looking really good. They're getting some depth scoring. Uh, defensively, Lindgren, Fox, like that D court is looking lethal and just circuit brilliant in that right now for the Rangers. So that team's clicking in. Even though they had a pretty good week, I do drop them one spot. Another team who will drop one spot will be the Washington Capitals. Last week, another really good week for them going 3-1-0. Had a three-game winning streak before losing this past Sunday to Carolina. They beat the Jackets. They beat the Rangers, like we just said. They had another win in there somewhere against another team too. So can't remember who that was against, but they're up to 8-3-0 on the year. Only a point back of the Rangers in the standings, and they are looking lethal the 11 game marks. So the Caps look pretty good, and I'm going to put them here at number five on my list. At number four on my list, I have the Florida Panthers, just like Dallas. They had two games last week in the Global Series matchup, and they won both of them. A 6-4 win over Dallas, a 4-2 win over Dallas. Offensively, they're looking good. Barkov got back. He got on the score sheet. Lundell's looking good. Rodriguez got goals in both games. Greer got starts as a Panther. They're getting some really good goal scoring from that team. Samoskevich also got a goal. Defensively, Ekblad, Forsling, Mikola, Kulikov. Like they're all doing really well for Florida defensively. And Annette, Bobrovsky, and Knight are both looking pretty good in that. So they've got some really good goaltending tandem. They have a really good decor. That Their offense is producing at a high level. And with them beating Dallas in back-to-back -back games, I have them jumping a little bit here. I think I had them at number 10 last week. Now they're at number Four. So, intriguing stuff there for the Florida Panthers. Then for Minnesota Wild, I keep them in the top three, but I bump them down from two to three. Uh, nothing against the Wild. Another fantastic week for them last week as they went 3 0 0. Uh, they beat the Tampa Bay Lightning handily, I think it was. Uh, they wound up being, I think it was Pittsburgh, was the other winner they had last week. And then they went over on Sunday against the Toronto Maple Leafs in overtime. So, it's not been overly pretty for the Wild as they've had to have a lot of late wins. But they do wind up getting a couple more wins, and they're up to 8 1 and 2 on the season. So I have to keep them in the top three. They're looking lethal this year. Only have one regulation loss in the first 11 games. So this team is looking phenomenal. Kaprizov is putting up historic wild numbers. On top of that, Boldy's looking pretty good. Johansson's looking pretty good. Zuccarello, Rossi offensively. Defensively, Spurgeon's now back. They have Brody and Faber still in that top four who are really holding down the four. And Gustafson and Fleury are both looking pretty good for the Minnesota Wild early on. So intriguing stuff there, but the Wild are third on my power rankings. At number two on my power rankings, I have the Carolina Hurricanes. Only two games last week. One was a win over the Capitals, like we said on Sunday. The other one was, I can't remember at this point, but they did have another win last week too. So two wins. They have won six straight. They're up to eight, two and oh. Just given the sheer fact of how well they're playing, I have to put them in number two. Carolina's looked 
really good. Aho, Svechnikov, uh, Jarvis, Natchez, they're all producing at high levels right now. Even on the defensive end, Gossesburg's had a couple of really good games over the past little while. Offensively, defensively, Slavin, Burns, Orlov, they're all doing really good. In that, even without Frederick Anderson right now, it's got Chekhov and Nett, this team's still winning. So Carolina's looking fantastic. They don't even need their starting level goaltender right now. And six straight wins, 8 2 record, I have to put them at number two. So that's who I have at number two in my power rankings. And at number one, I'm remaining with the Winnipeg Jets. The Jets last week wound up being the number one in my power rankings. I'm keeping them there this week. Just this week went 3 0 0 following that loss to Toronto. Uh, I'm not exactly sure who they won the next game, but they did win. And then they also beat the Jackets 6 2 and the Bolts 7 4. And the Jackets and Bolts weren't playing overly bad when those two teams wound up meeting. So Jets have looked really good offensively. They are clicking in those two games against the Jackets and the Bolts, their last two. They've gotten a combined 13 goals. So their offense is looking really well. Connor, Ehlers, Shifley, that entire third line, like that offense is looking lethal. Defensively, you've got Morrissey, you've got Pionk. They really could tighten up a little bit, maybe a little bit better defensively, but still, that team is looking lethal. Hellebuck's being Hellebuck, so the Jets are looking fantastic. And I'm keeping them at my number one spot in the power rankings. So just to recap here, my top 10 power rankings at this current point in time for week four are at number 10, I have the LA Kings. Number nine, I have the New Jersey Devils. Number eight, I have the Dallas Stars. Number seven, I have the Vegas Golden Knights. Number six, I have the New York Rangers. Number five, the Washington Capitals. Number four, the Florida Panthers. Number three, the Minnesota Wild. Number two, the Carolina Hurricanes. And number one, we remain with the Winnipeg Jets. So interesting note there. But that's all I'm talking about for today. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on my power rankings, plus your guys's down in the comment section below. Love to hear your guys' power rankings. Plus, do you think I put anyone too high, anyone too low, or did I leave anyone off that should have been in my top 10? Definitely love your guys' thoughts on all of that. Down in the comment section below. That's all I'm going to talk about for today. We're going to this video. If you want to turn so subscribe down below. Thank you for all your support. We're now with all of you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe button down below. Don't forget to comment down in the comment section below so you can always listen to this video. As well, blog, talk about news, rumors, analysis, if I ask, so check that out. Leave a link in the description below. And can't wait to see you guys all for the next video. See you guys soon.